All right, guys, uh, this is, is Ryan here, or Ryan, whatever. I'm going to be teaching you guys a little something about uh, Black Desert Online. This is gameplay footage of the closed beta 2. I'm a level 18 warrior sitting on about 100 grand. But one of the things that I could personally not figure out was trading. And I didn't know why my trading was getting so whack. And that's when someone explained this to me are these nodes. So you see that, that's Heidel Pass, that's Northern Guard Camp, this is Heidel. Here we have the uh, Forest of Plunder. We have another node, it looks like right here. Well, this is our uh, trade person, right? Now, if you can see, from here to here, you can see that it's a little gold, right? Like it's glowing. Uh, let me get it right there. So it's a little glowing. Now, it's also going from here to here. Now, the reason that is that we have invested in these nodes. Now, investing isn't something that you do monetarily. You do it with these. These are your contribution points. Now, these are very important and they're obtained via the quest. One thing that you have to know about Black Desert is this game is 100% grind for level. You do not, you will, you gain some XP from some of the quests uh, <clears throat> in terms of. Uh, the boss fights, but other than that, the majority of the quests do not reward actual player XP. You'll get uh, combat XP scrolls like these, but you get contribution point XP. That's a biggie, right? Okay. So what we're gonna do is go to this node here. Now, a quick explanation of the, con of the contribution points. You can see that for me, it says I have four out of 11. What that means is I have 11 total contribution points. I have four available. So that means I have five points floating around uh, across my investments. Now, houses, things like that, they all take investments, which is you know your contribution points. So between my house and the two nodes that I have, which the, the nodes take three, there you go. There's my contribution yeah. points. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount up and we're going to ride all the way over here to the node. We're going to try and unlock the node. Now, please keep in mind, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen after I unlock this node. This is the last node I need to invest in, I believe. And what is supposed to happen is it's supposed to reduce the amount of taxes that you pay when making trade orders. So let's press R to interact. It's this dude. One whole day Node management. To understand how goblins behave. All right. Oh, so this only costs one contribution points. So we're going to invest our contribution point, and there we have it. So now we have a gold line all the way from Viella or Velia, and all the way over to Heidel. <clears throat> Now what that means is we have unlocked the trade route completely and should be able to get full trade. So let's see if this will work and we can go on with the explanation of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Vila and we're going to see what we cannot buy. Now the thing about Black Desert is you can make money several different ways. There are many, many ways you can become a chef. Uh, you can refine precious metals, horse breeder, you can um, become the middleman and be a fisherman and you can either sell your fishermen in trade routes, which that's very capable of making high large amounts of money, or you can sell your fish to the players who are learning cooking. So we have our horse, horse and what we're going to do is we're going to attach the, right the uh, or connect the wagon, sorry. Can we just bring this out? No, okay. So we are red hair, connect the wagon, and then, uh, shit. But recover him actually too. Balance. Then he fits no, all right, take out. And then connect wagon. Why aren't you letting me connect you? Oh, because our wagon's in Heidel. Shoot. Okay. So what we're going to do is run all the way to Heidel, and I'm probably, this is going to be somewhat of a ride, 
gonna pause the stream. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the stream while we're on the ride. All the way to Heidel. Alright, so now we've entered the Heidel. This is where uh, I checked in my carriage. Or carriage? Wagon? Whatever. Alright. Stable. Oh, see, I'll just take that out. I'll actually put my mount back. Leave him in Heidel for now. So we take out our carriage. We have our little wagon here. And now we have to get it a little closer to the train manager. And let's see what we can do. Alright, so we're gonna hit Art Interact. Trade. Now, this is where the stock exchange happens. So, we've got wishing kites. We can buy 30 of these, but we can buy six cutting edge dwarfs. Now, here's the thing these weigh 55.8 LT, and we have 690 LT available. So, it's 690. Doing math here, divided by 55. Eight. So we can actually buy all six of these and a couple kites. All right, but here's what's important. We need to hit market price. We need to see how much these are selling in our one trade note. So these are selling at 118% in Viela. We should make about, what is that? So 118%, so this actually looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and buy all six of these. So return, take, max. Okay, Oops, shit. And maximum, enter. So we still have, uh. We've used 300, so we have more of that. This is gonna cost us 15 grand so far. And we've used, let's see, 690 minus 334.8. So we have 355 available, so we should be able to buy like almost 10 of those. We can buy nine, exactly. So we'll take nine of these. We'll look at the market price real quick, make sure it's even worth spending my money on. And it's not a big price change, but it's something. So we'll hit return, we'll take some kites, we'll buy nine, okay. And this is our order. And purchase all. And put it in your mouse container. All right. So they went ahead and taken the liberty of loading up my wagon. And now we're going to start the journey of going all the way back to Viela. And we're going to sell our stuff. Actually, let's go ahead and put the marker right where we need to go. Right there's good. Quick uh, note, just so you guys know. One, you can't back up your carriage, which is kind of annoying. But two, the other thing is, as of right now, I have nothing to really worry about. Because you cannot gank nor be ganked until you're level 50 in this game. So that's something to, to take notice to. If you want to start doing trade runs and you are like level 50 or level 51, you have to be careful because players can come and just kill you. You can take all the stuff in your wagon and that's pretty much it. So the harder it, the more you level past 50, the harder it is going to be to do these trade runs. So essentially, the best what you want to do is have a good amount of capital before you hit 50 because everything will get harder now you'll have much higher trade runs that are available to you past 50 and you can potentially make more money but again your risk factor highly increases and doing a solo afk run like what, what we would normally do here becomes very dangerous so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and pause this again and i will see you guys back when we're at the town all right, guys, we're approaching Viela, or Velia, my bad. I keep calling it Viela for some reason. And we're going to go right up to the trade manager, and hopefully everything works well for us. And we're able to sell these goods for some profit. Hmm. All right. Trade. I'm a merchant. I even bargained awesome. My so what we have here is we're going to make a profit of 1,000 gold on each one of these. And our kites are going to get sold for a little bit more. Awesome. So we'll make a profit of 100 silver on each one of our kites. But 
what we're gonna do we have a little bit of energy left so we're gonna try and bargain with this guy let's get lucky we have seven energy now bargaining is slightly increased but it's really difficult you have to balance these scales but you have to do it you have three chances to do it they will either raise or lower depending on this so you can be careful this will just kind of nudge the scale and this will really move it let's get lucky here all right so let's try and nudge it oh man let's try and yell at him oh we failed to bargain and we're unfortunately we can't do it anymore because we're out of uh, energy but you can keep doing that and it'll slightly increase how much money you make but other than that let's go ahead and sell and we have 89,000 silver so we spent well uh, 15 silver 15,000 on all of this we sell all all right so we made a profit of about 15 grand not bad and now what I will do is this is an odd adventure he's at 90 percent we'll check the market price and it looks like over in our main town Heidel I'm gonna be able to make resell it for about 853 so we're gonna load up on these guys hit return got 35 oh man be able to take all 14 maximum quality hit OK and purchase all load up our wagon and that's it that's how you trade in black desert online i hope you enjoyed the video be sure again careful when you're doing trading past 50 as you can get ganked and until next time